All right, so this is interesting. This is obviously not my studio. This is a little uh, interesting, to say the least. Normally, so I have a standing desk. I had a standing desk, a uh, solid, uh, permanent standing. It was an IKEA hack. If you go to ikeahackers.com, you can build your own through IKEA stuff. But it was always up, and most recently, I just replaced it with an actual uh, up and down automated desk. I record standing up all the time. That's how I just record. And I also have a little thing I do every time I drink water, I smile, I laugh because of what I'm going to say. Um, so let me get a couple things ready here. So, so before I even record, I'm going to show you the process of what I would normally do on Tuesday. Because my show comes out Monday, I don't really start prepping until Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday, but usually Tuesday. So this is what I do. You can hear me here. I don't, I'm talking to this like it's on. It's on. <laughs> That's the problem. You get so accustomed to doing this all the time. And also on my standing desk, I have a swing arm with a microphone and a pop filter. So I, I bring it to me when I record, and I put it away when it's during the week. So, but it's all connected on my desk. And this is usually on this side, so this is kind of strange for me, but it'll work out. It'll be fine. Okay. So when I start, I mean, the screen's a little smaller now because I had a, I'm, I'm sharing the screen. I mean, I'm, I'm mirroring it so you can see it. So I have a couple things I do. First and foremost is on this bottom left here, I have a folder called Post Haste. This is a free piece of software. It's on the Mac only. I, actually, there might be a PC version. I'm not sure. But what I do, I've been using this forever. It's free. And it, when I was doing video editing, it would help me create file structures for every project to be consistent. Okay. So what I mean by that is this. I'm going to show you something here. If I go into my folder into um, podcasts, kitchen sink, you'll see I have, this is episode 231, right? And in this, I have um, a folder called original WAV files, graphics URLs, number one, number two, and workbook that's uniquely different. So every show sometimes it gets an extra file, but not every, every show, but often shows will get extra data. But the core one, two, three, four, five things are created each time, every time. And that's done by this. And this is what I'm talking about. I, we've done, normally done this on Monday or Tuesday. I want you to see this whole process. So I double click post haste. This is an alias. So, okay. I can then, I have different templates in here, right? And I have get options podcast. It's not a hobby. That's in a whole other show. By the way, real quick, if you want to be a guest on a show, I'm looking for a new guests. It's called It's Not a Hobby. Main goal for this is if you went to school, college, trade school, anything else for a job A, let's say you went to school for become a lawyer. You became a lawyer, and now you make on the side, you start making kitchen tables, woodwork. And now you do that full time. I want that story. It's called It's Not a Hobby. If you're interested, let me know. I need you. Okay. So, so get options. So I want to do kitchen sink, right? I'm going to say, in this case, I want the project name to be Kitchen Sink Podcast. I want this to be episode 232. I'm going to double check that real quick. Uh, yes. And I say, create podcast. I mean, create project. Where? Well, I don't want it to go there. That's the last show I just did. So I want this to go to Kitchen Sink. It goes to saves it here. And now I get that folder, and my five things are done. Okay. And inside these things are also, remember, this is a template. Pretty easy to set this up. So now, I, that's step one, what I would normally do, okay? And then I go into my outline. I change the XXX because it's not that kind of show. <laughs> 232, I change this to 232, so I know what I'm saying. Here's my opening that I always say. It has a typo, I don't care, it's for me. It's not really for you guys to see this, but it's okay, okay? And I, it's, this is what I say, and I, then I, during the week, I fill those little segments, right? I actually fill those segments in. This is my outline. And to save a little bit of time, I did this already. So I went ahead, I went to WordPress uh, WordCamps. This is the upcoming events. So I, I copy, paste, and get the links all ready to go, okay? And I have some news I found online that I want to share. This is my news segment. I paste that in there. So I would do this normally during the week, Tuesday, Wednesday. As things pop up, as I see it, I call it all together in this file, right? Segment two, this is where I would say, hey, what am I going to talk about this week? And I would start doing research in here, writing out a script. So some people write verbatim, some people use an outline, some people try to wing it. I write, I write not verbatim, I write pretty close. Again, I'm fortunate, I have a degree in theater. So I can read something, not read something. Does that make sense? So some people read it, but it sounds really red. There's a difference. And I may get close to it, but I can always paraphrase. I can change it up as I want to go. Out of the 231 shows, I've re-recorded less than a handful. Um, because they sucked, you know, my, just personal choice. Most people would never know, I knew. I'm like, I gotta re-record that, I'll just trash it, start over. Other than that, I rarely re-record it. Um, not that I'm perfect, it's just that it's, it's a podcast. You know, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't have to be, you wanna get it out, produce the content, hit publish, okay. Segment two, so in this case, it's gonna be Q&A. Uh, so you're gonna say, um, uh, uh, WordCamp, 
um, Eham, was Abraham for short, uh, interview um, with, you know, I'll put the name in after, and then tip and tool of the week. In this case, I have the tip and tool, I picked that out as well here, and I looked this up, because I save these as I find them. It's a GitHub thing, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a Guten thing over on GitHub, Guten block, like yeah, whatever, okay, I'll say that. There. So this file only wouldn't exist, because it would be in here to begin with, right? So I can close that file up. So there's my quick outlet, but this usually takes me a day or two, but not like all day, just over the week, I would add things to this, okay? Um, when I'm done with this, you'll see the steps after this, and then I will be ready to record. All right, so at this point, okay, if I'm gonna talk about something, I'm gonna go and record a piece, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna record right now, not with you yet, because in this case, we're doing an interview. So when I do interviews, two styles. One is at work camps like this. Traditionally, when I do a work camp interview, I don't have all this with me, I just have the recorder. I take the person, the new work camper, aside to a quiet room, we sit down, I hit record, we ask some questions, I ask some questions, and they have a conversation. Five, 10 minutes tops. And then I come back, to my studio, and I record seg uh, the, the sections, and I insert the interview. So it's usually two files. In this case, it'll be one file. I, you know, I'll, I'll make it two files so you can actually see it. I'll make it two files also, but we are gonna record with better audio, because if I record just with this by itself with no microphones, it's a little tinny. It's, a, it's much more ambient noise. With these, it'll be much better audio overall. You want the best audio you can get. What, what kills a podcast, what kills video, like Steve said yesterday, is bad audio, right? So. All right, let me get some water real quick. So, that said, I think we're gonna record. I'm gonna record, so I'm gonna go ahead and record. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's a little nerve wracking to tell you the truth, because I've never had a live studio audience. <laughs> but I've always wanted one. Yes? First, are we supposed to provide a laugh track? By all means. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I actually said, huh? Can we cheer? Maybe, yeah. You know what? We're gonna have fun with the show. We are gonna have fun with the show. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. And for those who came in after I mentioned it uh, about my little issue with chocolate and peanut butter, there's cookies up front. I wanted three. I took my three. I could eat all of these, but it's better that I don't. Okay, for everybody, really, it's better that everybody doesn't eat the whole box. Just no judgment. Just saying. Okay. Again, I'm talking to the microphone. See, it's like a habit. I'm like ah. Okay. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, oh and also to close this. Bring up soundboard. So what you won't be able to hear is you won't be able to hear the bumper. Oh, actually, will you be able to hear the bumper? No, you're not be able to hear the bumper. So just so you can, is there any way for you to hear the bumper? Probably not. There's no. No. You have to unplug and put your mic down next to that. Right. So has anyone heard my show? Anyone in this room know my show? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I subscribe. Yes. Yes. It's okay because I got a thousand of people who love it. Ha! <laughs> oh, I want to mention two things uh, about numbers and money. Um, you owe me five bucks. No, I'm kidding. Um, so people always ask, or they come up to me and say, hey, I have a podcast. I only have 25 people. How do you grow the audience? Yeah, it takes time. It's consistency. And they say, I only have 25 downloads or, per week or per episode. And I say, hey, what's your name? Aida. Huh? Aida. Aida. I say, hey, Aida, 25 is a great number. Imagine a room filled with 25 people every week listening to you. Visualize that, that does it, right? Five, 10, it takes time. You wanna make mistakes when you have a small audience, not when you have a large audience, right? No one starts a large audience unless you have a name already, okay? As far as monetization, earlier I meant to mention, most recently I added a Patreon account. I was torn about doing this. Um, I thought that was weird, honestly, but I had a half a dozen, dozen people kept asking me, hey, I wanna to donate to your show. They don't wanna sponsor the show, they don't wanna spend that much money, totally fine, uh, but they wanna donate. So I'm like, all right, so I do have a Patreon account. It's uh, $2, $5, 20 and 100 And my levels are very much me. I have a caffeine break, clearly I need caffeine. Um, two bucks a month. $5 is a light lunch, $20 is happy hour, <laughs> um, and 100 bucks is date night, which my wife would love to see that happen. Okay. So, by the way, we are, in my bio, it said 19 years of uh, marriage. In 25 days, it'll be 20 years of marriage. So. Go, and I'm going to Paris. Awesome, yeah, I'm really surprised. <laughs> About going to Paris, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Who's been married longer than 20 years? Wow, longer than 30? 40? 45? 50? 47. So you're married in 1970. One. Yeah, see, I, it's how old I am. Now how do you feel? Ha. 
He'll listen to my show. I get you back. <laughs> All right. So you're not going to be able to hear my audio. Uh, actually, I'll do this real quick for you. I will let you hear it for a second because it's it's 45 seconds. My bumper is a bit long, my opening bumper. But pe some people skip through it three times. Uh, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, or they listen to the whole thing. 50/50, honestly. But I like it. I see if you hear um, what the reference is. So here's it. Here it is, real quick. I think you would hear. It. Oh, that's not it. Why is it so low? Yeah. Can't hear that, can you? No, okay, never mind. So it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> listen to your radio show. Yeah, listen, listen to the show. All right. So, oh, well, no, that still won't work. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If that's, uh, there's no way for me to get it out to you at the moment. So, oh well. All right. So, headphones. Oh, headphones. Super important. I've had these for 25 years, maybe 30. They're cheap. I love them. Okay. Don't spend a ton of money on, on equipment to start. Just kind of start. Just start. Okay. So uh, yeah, these are like so these are like how old am I? Um, AKJ, AKG. I don't know. They're, honestly, they're light. They're crappy. Couldn't couldn't love them anymore. Okay. So testing one too. All right. So this is very strange. So with Get Options podcast, actually, I did have we we've done that show twice in the front of a live studio audience, but that's a different type of show altogether. This is usually not this type of show. All right, so let me turn me up here a little bit. All right, I, have, I need to hit record over here. And a little trick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys every little thing I do here. So, all right, so I can go up to right now an hour, 23 minutes and 41 seconds. It's not gonna take that long. It'll take like, I'm gonna use like 30 minutes total time today. All right, so I do a test. I can see my, my feeds, I can see the monitor. So I know it's, it's there once I hit record. I'm gonna hit record. So now I'm recording. This is actually now recording. This won't be in the show unless it is as a blooper. Okay, so now I do this, test one, two. I can hear myself, and it's uh, better this way, because I don't want to hear you. All right, so, and what I do is I literally take a sip of water, because I need that <laughs> every time. This is so weird. Can't get a spotlight number. All right, so uh, I don't think I hear you guys. I hit, um, I say what I need to say, and then I hit the music. What's that right? No, it's all right. Yes, I say what I need to say. I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm confused. So you'll see. This is how I'm, I'm going to do my show. So just be quiet. Okay. Oh, this is the trick I want to tell you. I do this. I snap my fingers three times. I'm going to do it again because it gives me a waveform. I know when to cut out from before. So that's why I know when I'm going to start. I do that. So here we go again. This is the Kitchen Sink WP Podcast, episode 232. I gotta do that over because I'm having an issue with balance. Hold on. A little bizarre. Oh, you know what? A small technical difficulty. Excuse me. Weird. Oh, I know why. Got it. Remind me to plug your microphone in when you come up. Problem solved. So the problem there was, just so you know, just to share technically, um, this is my audio out. This was going into a just a single channel, left left channel, not not so stereo. So now it's in stereo, balanced versus unbalanced. Now we know. Problem solved. Whew. Awkward. Okay. Testing one two. Here we go again. Try this one more time. Microphone up. One two one two. Hit record again. Testing one, two, one, two. Test one, two, there we go. Okay. Oh, they're really noisy, aren't they? I'm trying to do a show here. Sorry. So I just burned 30 seconds. That's totally fine. But I do the snap so I know if I'm going to start over, do something I can. And I rarely start over during my show. Like I said, like five times in the last four years. All right.
This is the Kitchen Sink WP Podcast, episode Why, hello, and welcome to, that's wrong, I'm going to keep this in here. Hi, this is Adam Silver, the host of the Kitchen Sink WP Podcast. Thanks for being here. Let's get started. All right, first and foremost, before I even start with upcoming events, I am recording the show live in front of an audience at WordCamp Birmingham in Alabama. So if you're in the audience, you want to say hi or applaud, you can. So that's why my person is a little off, and this is a little strange. I'm doing my presentation, and I'm including the actual workflow of how I do a podcast. So... Uh, you might be able to see this on WordPress TV in a few weeks. Actually, you will see this because Lucas is saying, yeah, you'll see this in a few weeks. All right. So moving forward, moving on with the show, upcoming events. Like I said, let's get started. We have a whole, couple of events coming up. We have Work Camp for Publishers in Chicago. That is August 8th through 10th. That's midweek. That's why I mentioned it first. So it's midweek. It's a Work Camp for Publishers in a community organized event, bringing together folks who support Work Camp for publication. So it's a specific type of Work Camp. Okay? There's also Work Camp. Ooh, I don't know how to say this. It's in Sweden. I think you pronounce it Norikubunke. Okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, it's August 10th and 11th. Yeah, Word Camp Montreal, August 11th and 12th. Word Camp Jackson, Michigan, uh, work, uh, which is August 11th. It's a single day camp. And I might be there virtually. I might be recording the Get Options podcast there with my buddy Kyle. So we'll check that out if that works out or not. And Word Camp Kanpur, which is August 12th. So if, like I always say, if you're in those areas, by all means go to Word Camps because I love going to them. And uh, I will go to more of them this year as well. And if there's any meetups in your area, you should go to your meetup as well. Uh, if there's not one, you should Great one, like I always say. All right, moving on, segment one, in the news. A couple things to talk about this week. Uh, WordPress 4.9.8 was released and is now available for download. Happened last week as expected. And like I said last week, uh, one of the key elements is the Try Gutenberg callout. And not everyone's gonna see this, by the way. And I did see it finally this morning, and I was gonna share with you what I saw. I took a screenshot of it. So I saw on my dashboard for Kitchen Sink WP, this thing that says, hey, a new modern publishing experience is coming soon. I can dismiss it, I can install Gutenberg as a plugin, or I can install Classic Editor as a plugin. Slightly confusing, honestly, but the Classic Editor lets me keep it there so when 5.0 comes out, I have the choice of the two. I installed Classic Editor, didn't activate it because there's no reason to at the moment. Uh, it's a little confusing, so not everyone will see this. There is criteria on how this will happen. The criteria would be if um, it's not installed or activated, um, actually I'll list this in the show notes because it's kind of convoluted how it works. The classic editor, I still use it, I'm still, I still like it, and I'm not moving over to Gutenberg just yet. So, okay. Lastly, I want to mention the news. I'm creating a new course about easy digital downloads, and uh, it's self-paced. It'll be delivered via a learning management system, Lifter LMS, more than likely. It is because I built a, uh, a course, an ebook, and I was asked by the team behind EDD to create a course about how to sell using their software. So, that'll be out. It's coming out in about two months. I'm doing a pre-sale right now. It's $47. You can go to kitchensinkwp.com forward slash edd. The full price will be $197, but for right now it's $47, bucks, and that's going to go up as time gets closer to launch. So check that out. All right, moving on. Segment two this week, we are doing the traditional uh, Q&A with a brand new WordCamp. And I'm not going to do it like this minute. I'm going to do it after I take a quick break to bring up the guest, to ask her some questions. So we'll be back after this break, and then the questions, and then the tip and tool of the week. It's kind of weird, but that's it for the moment. So we'll be right back, okay? Stay tuned. Whew. That was weird. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's only weird because normally my screen is here. And I can read, you know, and it's just different. So that worked out for the most part. Okay, so now you need to come up. Okay, we're gonna keep recording this. Actually, I'm gonna hit pause for a second. I'm, I'm gonna actually hit stop because I, I want two recordings. So I'm gonna do this way, this way. This goes out for a second. You go in. Okay. All that. You nervous? Right on. You want some water, cookie? What do you need? Okay. Right. Remind me how to Marcella. Marlicia. Marlicia. Easier. That way. Marlicia. All right. Okay. You want me to write down the phonetic spelling? Nope. I'm gonna do it myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, all right. This is Marlesia. Hi, Marlesia. Okay. All right. So, all right, here we go. So you're not going to be able to hear anything. Is that okay with you? You'll be able to hear, you won't be able to hear yourself, except for your, yourself. Does that make sense? You won't yeah, be able to, yeah, it okay. makes sense. <laughs> all right. So bring you back up here. So say something. Like, let me see. Is this on? Testing. Yep, it is. Good. Perfect. All right. Okay, um, and Lucas, can you hear us on the other microphone as well? Sweet, thanks, okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna hit record again. She's really loud over there, I'm gonna hit snap, snap, snap. Ah, uh, sorry, that's not gonna work. Hold on a second, I gotta figure one thing out here. Because I took this out, I think this might work for a second. All right, so we're back and we're talking today to Marlesia. Marlesia, what's your last name? Shavers. Hi, Marlesia Shavers. Hi. So uh, thanks for being here. Really do appreciate you being a part of the podcast. Thank you for having Are me. Are they making you nervous out there? No, not really. Okay, just ignore them. Imagine them all not there. Okay. <laughs> not naked, not under boxers. Remember that? Who remembers the boxers? You know, it's okay. All right, so brought to you on stage here to interview you because you are a first time WordCamper. camper. I am. So we have your name. So what do you do in relation to WordPress? I am a love style blogger. I created my own genre of blogging. And basically my blog is about self-love, self-care, and creating your best life. Wow, that's a pretty impressive. How long have you been doing this? I've only been doing it since November of 2017. Oh, so not even a full year. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a question for you, how did you hear about WordCamp? And have you, so you've never been to WordCamp, so how did you hear about this? I actually heard about it through my fearless writing leader, Javasia Harris Bowser. And she was a WordCamp speaker last year, and she was telling us about it. And so I said, oh, I should probably go to that next year. And so when it came up, I signed up to get the notifications, and here, here I volunteered. Okay. <laughs> so you've been here for two days. This is day two. We're almost done. Another literally three hours, and the camp is over. Right. Um, have you learned anything? Yes. What have you learned? What's your biggest, like, what's a major takeaway for you? Um, I would say a major takeaway from me is I learned that WordCamp is just not for techie people. It's actually for the users as well because I was a little conflicted about coming at first. And so now I've gained all this invaluable information and one of my ra main reasons for coming is for the podcasting because oh. I want to start my own podcast. Nice. And so what's your podcast going to be about? Same thing as your blog? No, actually. It will probably incorporate some of those aspects, but it's going to be about the global view from a black woman's perspective. Okay, okay, interesting, very cool. And have you, do you have a podcast name or a domain picked out for that yet? Yes, it's gonna be The Mahogany Perspective. Love it, that's awesome, okay. So if somebody came to you new into WordPress or had never heard about WordCamps, would you suggest they come? Absolutely. For what purpose? Uh, for any purpose, if they want to own a business, if they're in entrepreneurship, if they're thinking about managing websites or learning to create websites, it's just a myriad of reasons that you could come to WordCamp to gain that knowledge, or if they're already in a profession, to just get more knowledge to help with their career. Okay, final question for you. Um, think you'll become a speaker? Absolutely. Nice, that's what we want to hear. Because you know, you, you've, you've never been around the community, so it's, is it new to you in the sense of, are you surprised by the community at all? Actually, yes. more questions at this point. So. Yes, I am. I wasn't expecting it to be as welcoming as it was because, you know, you can go to conferences and you not see anybody you know and everybody's standoffish. They're just there in their own little world. But here it was like, hey, how you doing? What's your name? What do you do? You know, and so it made me feel like I was a part, even though it's my first year. Right. I mean, and just yesterday when we put the call out for new work campers to be part of this, you stood right up and said, I'll do it. Right. Which is awesome. So awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here on the podcast and best of luck with your show. If you need any help, by all means, let me know. And I'll see you and hopefully next year speaking here. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Okay. We're good there. Yay. <laughs> So that part's done. Okay. Does anybody else want to come on and be interviewed? The same thing? Or no? Not so much. How are we doing on time? Two. Do you want to come up? Come on. We do one more. Awesome. The more the merrier. I think that's the right way to. Yeah. What's your name? Priscilla. Hi, Priscilla. I know like four Priscillas now. I'm the best, though, right? At the moment. <laughs>
Okay, same thing. You'll hold it right here. Actually, we're gonna do this, hold that. All right, I'm still recording, so. All right, just a little warmer. Okay, that's what All right, here we go, one more time. And we are now talking to Priscilla Warren. Oops, hold on a second. I know there's audio. You didn't hear that. Sorry. Oh, never mind. All right. We are now talking to Priscilla Warren, uh, also a first time word camper. And she just literally raised her hand to come up as a second interview because my other interview I was going to come up had a migraine, right? Got sick. Totally fine. No judgment, really. I hope she's better. Uh, is she here? No, she's not here. Okay. So welcome to the stage, Priscilla. Thank you. And what brings you to WordCamp? So I'm a complete newbie and I've got a computer programmer brother and he was tired of asking and me asking him questions. And so he told me to learn it myself and so here I am. Okay, and how did you hear about WordCamp? From my brother, oh. he told me. So. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. And what are you gonna do with WordPress knowledge? Like, what, were you, what was your main goal to learn this weekend? So I'm sort of, uh, I'm just trying to learn about WordPress and because I thought I was gonna have to manage my own website and I, didn't, I really have no technical background. I'm an accountant, so I just really needed to come and immerse myself in it and learn. Okay. Do you have a current blog? I do not. Do you want a blog? Yes. I had a business plan before I came here and I met some people at lunch yesterday and they have totally put me on a different track, a better track. Okay. So I've got to stop and rethink everything. What was the original idea? The original idea was that I was going to do business consulting services and I was going to sort of maybe do some of their social media marketing and website development, but I've realized now that maybe that's not the best use of my abilities. Okay. And maybe I need to partner with other people, but I can be that sort of just one person that they talk to, and I'd I have other people help me behind the scenes. Okay, fair enough. And did you find the value? I mean, was it, was it a cost prohibitive to come? No, I mean, I had to drive because I'm from, I'm not from Birmingham, but I, absolutely $40, you could totally swing that. Right. And uh, just to, you know, a, few hours drive to get here and to have the resources and to have all these helpful people it was totally worth it so what's the main takeaway besides like so is your main takeaway really the new direction that you've got advice on yes that's all I did last night was I couldn't even go to sleep because I just kept thinking about this different path that I'm on now that I totally was not on when I left uh, Saturday morning so you've been up for 24 hours at this point basically I'm really tired can't you tell <laughs> no you look great, you look great. Okay. well I appreciate you coming up on stage do you have any questions for me at all actually one more question any interest in podcasting I didn't before I came here, but now I'm totally going to do it. Awesome. That's what we want to hear. Awesome. Thank you so much for being up here. Thanks. Thank you. Yay. Oh, like I said, turn her microphone off. Oh, that's my microphone. Let me turn her microphone off. And uh, thanks to both Priscilla and Maralisa. Maralisa. See, I got her better that way. Okay. And I'm going to hit stop now and come back uh, after this break with the tip and tool of the week. All right? Stand by. Okay, so at this point, actually, I paused because I don't want a third file. Just kind of weird. But we do that. All right, so now what I would do is click on this. You can still see it. Yeah, okay, good. I'm open this up. And actually, I have found already a better tip until the week. I have to wait for next week because I haven't tested it. I try to look at things a little bit more in depth if I can. But, like, for example, next week's tip until the week is this Wallace. I just found out about this. Inline. It's inline editing for Beaver Builder. Pretty cool, it's supposed to be a better interface for clients, so I might check this out. There's a live demo, there's Robbie McCullough. Anyway, so, but, you know, I want to find things that I think are interesting to people. And ironically enough, my tip and tool of the week has, be, uh, has become my ebook, a free ebook. So if you actually go to Kitchen Sink WP, let me do this way real quick. If I'm not logged in, so just to share with this for you, one second, we still have to pause, good. So on the top, you'll see a bot, it'll, it'll scroll down in a second based on, uh, uh, it should come down, maybe not. Oh, there it is. So I have a free ebook. So you sign up for, you know, it's a lead magnet. I want your email address, you get my ebook. And it's the top 101 uh, tips and tools of the week, all organized. And yes, it's a PDF, and some of the links are affiliates. So again, it's a way to monetize. All right. Again, I'm talking to the microphone for no good reason. All right. All right, moving on. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to mention this, and I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, create gluten block. Okay. All right, so pretty basic talk here. I'm going to hit record again. I'm going to come back this way. All right, and segment three, tip and tool of the week this week, I want to mention a Gutenberg-esque item. It's called uh, Gutenblock, Create Gutenblock. It's over on GitHub. It's by um, 
Ahmad Awadi, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Let me get back to it, it's on GitHub. It's create gutenberg block. It's a way to, uh, for those who are creating Gutenberg blocks and going that way with the technology, because that's where WordPress is going, version 5.0, due out like September sometime. Uh, it's a way to, uh, it's a starter kit uh, of boilerplate. It's a developer toolbox, which is continuously being updated. So it's on GitHub, it's free. If you're into the Gutenberg uh, creation of code and content, check that out. That's the tip of the, goal of the week this week. And other than that, I think it's the end of the show, and I do appreciate the live audience in the room. Uh, it's been interesting, to today at least. It's different, and the show is different this week, and that's okay, because that's just how life is, right? I'm good with that. So I'm gonna wrap it up. If you have any questions, by all means, send it in. Uh, email adam at kitchensinkwp.com, or use the SpeakPipe functionality website. Thanks so much for listening, and see you next week, and have a great week, and stuff like that. And I'm gonna say goodbye now. Goodbye now. And you guys can applaud if you want. And I need to add my sound effect back in. Dang it. Which I can still do, it's still recording. All right, good enough, okay. So, the recording, as hodgepodgey as that kind of was, normally, much faster, <laughs> and less interruption, interruption, inter interruptions. So now, what I do, is I click this, I close this, I take the card out, it's a two gigabyte card. So this version of my, of my recorder, the only drawback is it only can use it up to two gigabytes, which is ridiculously small. When I first got this, I'm like, this was normally new versions, five, 600 bucks. I paid 225 on eBay, it's an older version. It's kind of plasticky, the new versions are a little more heft, better features, et cetera, and they take bigger cards. So when I got this, I'm like, oh, I have like an eight gigabyte card, put it in, it doesn't work. Tried like 16 different eight gigabyte cards, with nothing. I, I'm like, huh, I Google it, two gigs is the maximum it can take. That's just the firmware, so FYI. Take this, put this into my computer. Okay, so now the, the rest of this is just the post-production at this point, right? So just to make sure I hit everything. I showed that, I showed that, yep, get photo, okay. So now I have this Canon card. I'm gonna take out the last, I think it's the last three files. So we'll take the three. Take this to my desktop for a second. I'm gonna go into, Sync, podcast, original audio files. This isn't sexy, this is just the reality of what it takes to do the show, okay? Copy. What was that? It was? It is sexy? Oh, it is sexy. Nice. <laughs> I love that, April. Do you want me to put uh, Lucas the microphone back on me? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> He's like, no, don't touch it. <laughs> All right, so, and I eject the card. Okay. And once that fully ejects, I'll take this out. And here's a little personal trick. Take the card once it ejects, take it out, put it back in the recorder. Not in your pocket, not somewhere else. It'll turn off by itself, totally fine. All right, so then the next step is literally, I recorded, I copied the file, I'm gonna do the light edit. So the light edit is this. So I gotta figure out which one's which. I need to put my headphones back on. And I need this. Uh, that's what I have with that. I think that's it. Oh yeah, okay, these are the, okay, so they're, they're the wrong order, 24 times, okay. So now what I would do is I'm gonna take the first one, I'm gonna right click, open this in Adobe Audition. Okay. And there's the file. Now that's pretty sexy, I think. All right, so, so now I need to listen but. So it's actually, so you see how there's all these areas here? Those are all the snaps. So I know I don't need any of that before it. Oh, I think so. oh okay, hold on. Maybe I do. I did like six snaps. I have what? You did like six snaps. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Oh, here we go, maybe. Why is this not? Well, this is a problem. Oh, you know what? I think this is the first one that we were, that was no good. Right. Yep. Okay, so it must be 25 and 26. Whew, that was close. I've actually, in the 231 episodes, I've actually lost, not lost, I had a hiccup with one file. And there's actually a way to recover it. I got lucky. Too. Thanks to uh, YouTube, I, I found a way to get back. Here's the, here we go. All right, so here we go. Perfect. So, 
So yeah, so these, this first area here, all this S stuff, I don't need it. I can toss it, right? This is me saying, um, this is the opening segment. So I'm actually, I usually start like right at it. Yeah, don't need that. Okay, so this came in a little low just because of my opening music here. I'll just highlight that. I'll bring that up a little bit just to match. Right? Ooh, magic. Okay, and then my show starts. Okay. There's the applause. We're good there. Good, good, good. So, so again, I don't go too deep. I mean, I'm lucky I don't do a lot of ums. My show is concise. I know what I'm going to say. If you have a lot of ums, kind of take those out. If you have an interview with somebody, here's a, a little tip. If, so when I do longer interviews, I don't give anyone a heads up on anything, except for there's one segment I say, what are the three tips, three tools you can't live without? So that way they can have a prep at the end of the show. If someone says, if I say, Aida? I say, Aida, so tell me, what do you think things are going in the WordPress space in regards to you know, um, female empowerment? And you might need a minute to think about that, right? You're like, oh, that's a good question, because everyone says that's a good question. It's like the weirdest thing. Oh, that's a good question. Really? It's because it's a dumb question? Unless you're orange. Okay. So, um, so you might take a minute to think. Totally fine. Let the person take that minute and say, uh, think about it. Because you can take that piece out. You want to you take out some of it. So those long times of people thinking, remove that. Not all of it, because if I ask you the question and it heads right to your answer, that's awkward. Right, editing style wise. Um, like I said, oh. But you can take time. You can have some, you can have some duration, but you want to take out those long gaps. So when you're interviewing someone, don't rush it. Right? Okay. So in that case, so we get to the end here. So I don't go do too much in here. Like here's a piece here, for example. I can listen to this and see what was this right here. This was Nope, it's fine. Oh here we go. So in this case, I swallowed for a second, but you can barely tell. I know it's there, it's totally fine. All right, so I'm gonna leave all that in there. And then I think at this end here, I see, what do I have here? So it says, stay tuned. Okay, great, so this is where I wanna put in the first, the, both interviews. The first one's gonna be here, right? So I'm gonna go grab that file. I'm gonna double click over here. I'm gonna grab uh, podcast 232, original wave file, and it's the last one, 26, correct? Yeah. So it opens up a new file. Uh, cancel, oh, that's weird. Oh, there it is, so 26. So 25 is the main one, here's 26. So here's the first interview, this section right here. Here's the second interview, okay? So I'm gonna take this first one. So this section right here, just so you can see it, you can't hear it, oh yeah, that is a sound effect. So who remembers the $6 million man? Okay. I'm a huge fan, I mean, it's a problem, okay? I have, a, I have a watch I got when I was seven years old from my, from my parents for a Hanukkah. It's fantastic. Um, on my face of my Apple Watch now, I actually have a custom face with, it, with this, him on it. I have a fan of the show who knows that I like Sigmund Man so much. He recorded, found all the episodes, made like, all the seasons and all the episodes, and sent me in the mail a DVD set for my, like a, a little freaky. I'm like, how did he get my address? <laughs> So I thanked him on the but he liked it. But anyway, so the opening segment of my show has the audio of, a, 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 there's a mixture of Six Million Dollar Man, we can make it better, stronger, faster with WordPress. That's the F point. The bumpers between interviews and stuff is the, that, you know, that, that sound effect. So that's what, that's what this is right here. It's a little low because of how I wired it, my mistake. But of course I can fix that by literally just bringing this up a little bit. So now it's, it's a little better, right? So I can, I can match that. I don't need any of this, okay? And this piece, this piece here, let's see. Talking the first one, first one. Okay, so right here, this is interesting. Just so you can see the audio file. So this is uh, Marlicia. She smacked her lips. I'm, 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 she, you, know, you, you did the, so that's a little, it's a little high, it's a little high. So if I see a lot of those, I'll fix it. In this case, it's just the one, easy to fix, lower that a little bit. It's who you are, it's what happened. I don't, want to, I don't want to change the audio. I'm not NPR, right? Production quality does matter, but you have to know what you need to get done to get it done, okay? When you're starting out. When, when I'm funded at $10,000 an episode, yeah, this will be great. <laughs> all this stuff will be out. Okay, so I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna go all the way through, and I'm gonna scroll down here. I think we're good there, this is still. Okay, so. So here we go, this is the whole interview right there. So we're done with this one right there. I look over this one here. Uh, so here's the thing, I want that clip again. I forgot to do it at the end. So I'm gonna go grab it here, copy it, and I'm gonna paste it over here. 
So now I have it on both ends, the beginning and end. So it's a da -da 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 interview, da -da 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 end of interview. And then, I'll do, then it'll just, it will go to the second one here. So I'll, just, I'll lose this. Here is Priscilla. Oh, sorry. I can bump that out. Okay, great. So I can take this piece out. And now we're talking to Priscilla. And we're still good there. And I know she's a little low because her microphone's a little further away, but it's okay. It didn't bother me because I'm going to fix it in a second. I'll show you how I'm going to fix it. And then over here, what's the section here? So this is the, so the right here is the tip and tool of the week section moving forward. So that's fine. Snap my fingers. I'm going to lose all that. Okay. And that's the end of the show there. Okay. So now, because her volume's a little low, this area, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all this. I'm going to go to effects. Diagnostics, uh, where is it? Filter, modulation, oh, dang it, effects. Actually, it's here, it's um, speech volume leveler, apply. So now, everyone's speaking, same level, based on the average. You can get really detailed here, I don't, okay? So the problem is, I, make, I wanna make sure that it's not too noisy now. No, it's actually pretty good. No, hold on, so just... <coughs> Okay, so actually, this section here is too hot now. It's the sound effect. It's way too loud. So I just want to lower that a bit. Uh, so I can kind of tell it's blown out. So how's it now? It's not ideal, but I'm going to um, keep it for the moment. Sorry. And then the very end here, this is the very end of the show. That's, that's the applause. Can't you tell? That's your applause. That's awesome. Okay. This section right there was your applause. I think actually I got, yeah, all right, take all that out. So now I'm gonna copy all this. I'm gonna go back to number 25, because this is where it goes, it goes to the end of the show. So normally, in, in a normal situation, I would literally do my section, do an interview, I would do, my, I'll, I would do everything, okay, how do I normally do it? So normally I would, it depends on the interview, when I do the interview. If I do it early in the week, because it's on Skype, um, here's how, the best way to explain it this way. Whenever I do the interview is when I record the show. I want my voice quality to be the same and my levels to be the same. So if I do the interview at 7 a.m. or 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern, you know, wherever it may be, wherever the guest is, once I'm done with the interview, I will then record the rest of the show. Because my voice, I want it to match. Some people don't. You can actually tell sometimes when it's been a different time because it's just not there, right? If I record in person like this, just using this, I normally pre-record the opening and closing at home so my quality, it's studio quality, and I just insert the interview. And it's obviously different, and I'm done. I copy paste them, and it's done. So in this case, yeah, it's a little, it's, it's a third option at this point, because I use this on location, so it's just a little awkward, so okay. So in this case, I'm gonna copy all this. So is this number, where are we at? This is number 25. I'm gonna copy all this. Oh, this is actually, no, this is the end of the show, right? This is the end of, and I'm just gonna paste it right here. I'm gonna say, So then I just paste this there, there's the rest of the show. So literally at this point, so some of that stuff's pretty hot. You can see this one right here, that, that little section is really high on, on the radar there. So see, what, what is that real quick, I'm seeing. Oh, that's wrong. That's the wrong segment, that's the problem. So I need to go here. I have to make sure where I'm in the right place here. Okay. It's 25. Okay, I think I miscopied this. So I need to go back to 26. Dang it. There we go. Okay, so I copy this section, put it back in 25. It gets confusing, it can be. Put it here, paste, and great. So I'm gonna see, can you guys hear this all? All right, so we're back and we're talking to the now? BC. Okay, so what I want you to hear is this. For example, so I still like it and I'm not moving over to Google. Yes. Right. Okay. Lastly, I want to mention the news. I created a new course. About okay, so that's the news section. So I went through the news. We get to the questions. That's the sound effect. All right. So we're back, and we're talking today to Marlicia. Right. Marlicia, what's your last name? Now you can hear. Shapers. Hi. Okay. She, you sound great, by the way. And just so you can hear what I'm talking about from the beginning. Yes, the Kitchen Sink WP Podcast, episode 232. <laughs> so, you can kind of get the gist of it. It's kind of techy. All right, so at this point, the show is done, but I do one last thing. 
I go to here and I have an effect. And I, what I want to do is I go to, actually it's here under presets. I go to uh, Kitchen Sink to be Secret Sauce. <laughs> and that, what that does is it raises some tones and then also I will then lower, give it some depth. So if you listen to it this way, this is the WP podcast it blows it way up, right? Can't go that loud. And I want to go to enhance it. Enhance the lows. Which is a great sentence, right? So now if we listen to the difference, listen for a second. Oh, I should probably go to that next year. So with it on? I signed up to get the notifications. Little tinny. A little deeper. And that's just, a, that, you know, that's just microphones, technology. It's, you can always do some tweaking in post-production to make things sound better, look better, et cetera. Right, right Lucas? <laughs> so I don't do a ton of posts because it's a matter of time. This has taken me twice as long as normal. Obviously, it's a different situation. OK. So now I am technically done with production and post-production. Well, there you guys. OK. And I will say that is it for that. Take all that out. Save it. Um, oh, say cancel. I need to actually uh, apply the effects to the entire file. Depends on the effects. This will take a couple seconds here. Okay. Pretty close. How are we doing on time? We're still good? Still good. Right. All right. So now the file, now, now that effect, everything's done. All the editing's done. The effect that I added to, to raise the audio but lower the depth is there and, and, and flattened out. You can see it, it changed the waveform a little bit. It flattened, right? So now I go ahead and I say, Export file, Are you and it says where. I'll say I want this to go to uh, Kitchen Sink WP's folder, uh, MP3s. Say save. Are you sure? And I say okay. Are you sure? Because it's a WAV file. If I go to MP3, it's lossless. It's a different format. Totally fine. I want MP3. I need MP3. Okay. Takes another what, uh, three five seconds. Okay. Save the file one more time just to make sure. Just have it. <laughs> Quick. Oh, do I want to save all the stuff? I'll say uh, yes to all. It's fine. So it's saving what I did, the edits I did in the other file. If I edit it, it's fine. Okay. Quicks out of Adobe Audition. Okay. So now, my next step would be I did the light edit, I exported it. Oh, yeah. So now, um, technically, I need to do this. So I have an MP3 file, which, as you can see, is the wrong name, right? But I need show notes before I do anything else. So the show notes, in my case, are kind of redundant of how I do this. It's kind of unfortunate. It's what I started four years ago, and it just works for me. I go back to the show itself. So I have that outline. And I also have what's called show notes, two files. Right? So this week I interview, let's say I interview, interview two new work campers. If I knew how to spell, it'd be great. Actually, I'll make this really big so you guys don't see what I'm doing here. So again, based on that file I created, oh, I forgot to show you one thing. Uh, in new work campers from WordCamp. Birmingham. Uh, there we go. Upcoming events. So I do that. That's my title. That, that, that'll be like the uh, part of it. I will then take all of this and I do that. In the news, uh, I'll take WordPress 4. And I, so in this case, I literally, I don't take, the reason I do it twice is I just take the bullet point, right? And I'll say my class is this way. I'll say EDD class. Uh, EDD course, pre-sale, and I'll actually I'll just link this this way. Okay, segment two, Q&A with uh, word campers, and then tool of the week. Create Guten Block. And here I say create Guten Block. Take the, whoops, dang it. Take the bolt off. And that, done. Make this all 18. It doesn't matter the size, I just like to see it. For me, when I'm on my screen, it's usually 18. For you, it could be 20, it doesn't matter. And I take away all the bold, I take away all the formatting because the way it currently works in, in, in classic editor, if I put in bold, underlying, and stuff, except for links, it doesn't work right. I have to redo it. It's just the way the interface, because it's just not smart, the way text edit does it, right? I could do this in some other service, some other software, it's just this is what works. I try to keep things low tech if I can. Okay, so those are my show notes. So then I can close this one, uh, close that. And then what I do is once I have that done, then I take the file, the MP3 file, I open this up with ID3 editor. And what this does is this wraps it the proper way as a podcast, right? I can add shows and artwork to it. So in this case, I hit Command D. So it puts in, my, it knows what to put in from previous podcasts. 
it kind of fills in a couple things. Like it fills in, can I, you won't be like, I can't zoom in on that. I say E00X or XX, say 232 episode. I copy that, paste over here. I go to lyrics. So lyrics are show notes. Copy, paste. And if I really wanted to, I do, I do this a lot. I, I just do like some bullets here. And I just copy one and I just do it manually. Are there faster ways? Yep. Do I do them? Nope. Did I hire somebody? Yep. Am I going to? Nope. Am I frugal? Yep. Cheap? Nope. Oh, actually, that goes here. Okay. All right, that's done. So what happens, once this comes done, you'll see that the icon will change in a second. Uh, did it not change? Come on. Really? Oh, there it is, it changed. See how the icon changed? Actually, I can make that bigger for sure. I think I can go this way. So that icon changed, right? The problem is it's the wrong, it's the wrong name. So what I do is so, so simple. I take this one, I go up here, change it, two. Right? So now this is ready to go up to Libsyn. If I, did this, if I didn't do this first, I can't just set, I could put an MP3 file, but then there's nothing wrapped around it. It doesn't have any information except the duration of the show. Right? So now I can take this to Libsyn. So that's, what I, that's what's next. Uh, show notes, ID, yeah, ID3 editor, just make sure I'm on the right track here. Yep, Libsyn. So this should be interesting for Wi-Fi. So now, I will go to Libsyn. I'll log in. Everyone close your eyes for a password. I'm kidding. You won't see the password. Libsyn. Wi-Fi's working pretty well. Sweet. Change show. So I have two shows, right? And in hindsight, the mistake I made was my business company name was Silverline Productions. It doesn't, I can't change it now. It's not worth it. It doesn't matter. All right, so I click on this show. I click on content. And what I do is I copy this first. So you'll see, what I do is I copy previous so the same format matches. That's, a, that's a, again, consistency. I copy the name of this one. I would then go to content, add new episode. I'm going to add the media, upload it from kitchen sink, MP3s, 232. It's uploading. This could take a long time if the Wi-Fi is up, so you're in SX, or it can take a switch time, which is we're doing really well right now. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. All right. We're almost done. Just you know, we're close. Oh, we have 10 minutes. Hopefully this will be done in 10 minutes. <laughs> close the message. So this is what I'm talking about. This interface that they have, nah, not ideal, but, it is, but you get used to it. Details. This is where I paste that title in. I change the number to 232. Oops. I change this to 232. I'll say Q&A, new word campers, uh, Birmingham, Birmingham, 2018. And then down here, I'll take those show notes again, put them in here as well. I can clean this up, but it really doesn't matter. It depends on how you're using Libsyn as your source or just as a reference. I, I put it there just in case, so I know what it is if I need to go back. Okay. Um, I scroll back down, I change this to podcast, and I say go to artwork, no artwork to put in, scheduling. I always click on uh, set a new release date. If I hit publish now, it'll be available right now for anyone who has the feed. I, want it, I don't want it now, I want it tomorrow at 6 a.m. Eastern. So I say release date, this is going to be tomorrow, and I say 3 a.m., right? And I just say publish, which is scary. You're like, publish, no, no, wait, but it's a scheduled publish, right? Then I grab this file. And I, I copy it, I close this window, and that, that link goes right there. And remember you'd asked about playing in the, in the browser? So if I use this right now, if this was live, then you could hear it if, with just using that link. If you, if, so if you want to get someone to show early, and you kind of figure out their, their syntax from this, you can actually sneak shows early from some producers. It's kind of funny, I've done this before. They don't like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that part's done. So now the next step is I need to create a blog post. But before I do the blog post, I need to create the art. Um, so art for each episode. In this case, it's pretty basic. I'm gonna go to kitchensinkwp.com. I'm gonna show you something real quick. So I, I, I saved one step. I mean, I, I, so this is an error in my site. This is supposed to be 275, 275. It's just not pulling right, so they're supposed to be this size, right? Okay. But what I do is, you know, it's pretty basic how I, by the way, that's my daughter. You should listen to that episode. Isn't she beautiful? Okay. So awesome conversation to have with a teenage daughter about social media. And if you use Facebook, she's like, yeah, you're old, yeah. And, you're, she, and now she's grounded, it's great. Okay, so, um, so I need artwork, first, first and foremost. So I go to Photoshop, actually before I go, I actually have a file here, it's over here. It's in this area. I have an untitled document. It has every cover I've ever done. Same size, every time, okay? So I open this file up, 
and there's that one. And I duplicate the layer. And I say this one's now 232. And I'll, I don't, don't need to say revisiting Gutenberg. I'll just say it's uh, Q, Q and A, B, Ham. Turn that layer off, do this. I don't need that image, whoops, I don't need the image anymore. I'll probably say um, new word camps, campers. I'm not loving that idea, but it's okay, hold on a second. What I did is I already grabbed this, uh, the logo from, uh, cancel, cancel, cancel. I grabbed the logo earlier, just the PNG from WordCamp. So there it is, right? So I need to fit this in here somewhere. Let me just put that in. Oh, come on. There we go. So there it is there. Let me just do this real quick. Let me just go ahead and do a new layer. Is put that behind that layer so now we can see it. So I'll probably just leave it like that, is my guess. I'm actually not going to go and worry about having it be text. I'm just going to go with this. I think it's fine. I mean, the longest thing it took me when I first started, the first 20 episodes, I would spend two, three hours on finding the perfect image. Not worth it. Really isn't. Just be quick. You want to be quick. Again, okay, publish. Okay, my opinion. This is my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna save it again as a uh, JPEG. Actually, save as to my desktop, it's KSWP E232 desktop, and save it as a JPEG. Okay. I actually do one more step on this image itself. Close, close. I go to tiny PNG. I wanna optimize the image as best I can. I mean, it's already small, it's 81.2 kilobytes. Small, it needs to be smaller, people. Now it's 17. Anybody use tiny PNG? Good, yeah, awesome, sorry. It's free, okay. So now I can toss them on the desktop, there's one in my downloads folder. All right, five minutes, woo, five minutes. Yeah, get this done, people. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to Kitchen Sink WP. I'm gonna go to Dashboard. Uh, posts, all posts, and again, I'm gonna do this thing where I literally copy the previous title so, so I get the right format, so I get the right, I didn't wanna do that, dang it. I'll just take, that's fine. Let's say new post, paste that here, 232, um, uh, interview with, interviews with new, Oh, first time, I'll say first time. Word campers. Word camp. Birmingham. Y'all. Perfect. Take the show notes. In this, in this case, I actually do format it. But see, if I had kept in the bullets before, they would just, it doesn't show up right. It messes things up for some reason. Gutenberg actually kind of fixed this. I did a test last week on Gutenberg's post editor, the way it does it, in the blocks, it changes things. So bold, oops, bold, um, bold, bold. See how it's messed up this? And I need, I need to actually go this way. I need to go turn that off again. And then bold. This gets a bullet, bullet, bullet. Oh, oops, this one too. Oh, and I didn't link to this one. That's, that's, I have to fix that later. I'll fix that later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. This is what I was talking about. So this file, that link right there has to go not there. It won't work there. It needs to go down here for it to go to iTunes. I verify the URL. It says, is it, is it a verif verified? Yes. So it knows it's there. It's not published yet, right? Um, the excerpt, because I have it reformatted, I take this. I put this in here. I press BBB, BBB. I type in that. I type in power press. That way, now the player will be in that post. If I don't type in power press, it's not there. That way you can play it in the window, right? Um, and I'll, to show you what I mean, this real quick, I have like four minutes left. See, it's playable right there. If I put it, if I, it, the, the other plugin sends it to iTunes. The power press brackets, the short code, plays it in the window. Plays on the website, right? It still counts as a... It does. A Download, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then no, most importantly, the most important thing in my case is this. If I don't press podcast here as a category, it won't go to iTunes, it won't go to the feeds. 
has to, it has to happen. And the next step is I play publish when? It's going to be the 6th? Yep. At 3.05. <coughs> because I want to make sure that Libsyn's fine. I always give it a five minute buffer, right? I can then say OK. Uh, say OK. Schedule. But before I do that, I have one more thing. I say set featured image. Open. And I say date modified. Two minutes left. Almost done. Put that in there. OK, great. And so set featured image. And schedule. So hey, we, can, we can preview this. I can, obviously, I can preview it, right? Um, and then what happens, that there's the other follow-up. So here's a preview. That's what it's going to look like tomorrow. I could change this tonight still. I probably won't. You know, um, I think that's totally fine. Huh? So I'm going to fix that. Hold on. Vermeen Ham. Enter. Yeah, I got that. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Update. All right. So now if I refresh this, that should be fine. Anything else? I'll double check this tonight before I go to bed. Okay. All right. Good. No, no. Hold on. Give it a second. Oh, it changed it. Why did it? Probably my cache. It's okay. Well.